I actually wanted to mention earlier, from what I understand, you were given the title of principal dancer when you entered the company. Is that true in Berlin? Um, entered in Berlin? Well, I joined the comp Well, I joined the English National Ballet when I was seventeen, and within the first year, um, Peter Schaufers, who was the director, um, moved to Berlin, and he invited, I think, twelve or thirteen dancers from English National Ballet to go with him, and I was very fortunate to 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 have that chance. Although I was a first year choir ballet dancer. Um, why he chose me, I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I saw it as an opportunity. He was somebody that I aspired to work with. I thought he was a, a phenomenal dancer himself. And I felt there was a lot I could learn from him. And in the one year, I felt like I hadn't achieved what I, you know, set out for. And so when he asked me to come to Berlin, I thought, okay, well, there's my second chance um, to keep working with him. So I ended up going to Berlin. Um, principal, con well, I, he made me principal when I was 19, so it was a year after I joined the company. Um, but he, di he did a, um, a very, very beautiful production of Giselle, which he cast me for Giselle to do, and I was, you know, just turned 19. Wow. And I, um, you know, it, it kind of didn't sink in. It was a really bizarre thing, and I kept calling my mum and saying, you know, I, I, I'm going to dance Giselle. And my mom sort of kept saying, well, that's nice, dear. <laughs> and I think she didn't realize it either. It was a really surreal kind of um, situation. <laughs> Until I sort of said to her, but, you know, mom, maybe it would be great if you could come because, you know, the premiere is on such and such a date and, and I'm going to be dancing it. And then it, it kind of clicked what a big deal it was. And I guess that was that was the moment where he... Um, thought okay I'll make her a principal but also I think it was because I became too expensive in the house <laughs> I, I always joked well, no I always <laughs> joked because I mean I was I came into the company with a quarter ballet contract and I always you know in Germany there's all these rules with uh, you know if you do overtime and if you do a soloist role they have to they pay you for all the extras yes. you know yeah. and I always joked that they that <laughs> the house was going bankrupt because of me and so that was the reason why they actually promoted me but either way um, yeah, was I'm quite really sure that's deal? not the reason at all <laughs> well I don't know I, mean, I, was, uh, I was making some really nice money the first, my, first, my first year in the company I went to the Malediven for three weeks afterwards I oh. thought cool <laughs> that's probably right? never happen again so, <laughs> hmm. Who would you say has been your most influential teacher and or mentor? You just mentioned Peter Schaufer, yeah. but perhaps, yes? Um, well, probably the most influential teacher was probably Marika, I would say. Um, but on a professional level, I would definitely say Schaufer's. Um, he, he, you know, he has his obsession with um, footwork and... Uh, and uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he drilled me. <laughs> I, I always thought it was um, something quite incredible that the ballerinas that worked closely with him, you could always pick them by the quality of their footwork. And I think I'm probably like one of the last generations that got to experience that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and I think that's one of, um, probably one of the, the qualities that people will, will remember me most for. So, yeah. Okay. What's the best compliment you've ever been given? Oh my god, I don't have to answer that. <laughs> best compliment. So many, so many. Uh, no, actually, I mean, not, not compliments that you consider really that come from the heart. Um, I think compliments these days be have become very superficial. Yeah. It's, it's easier for people to say, oh, it was lovely, dear, than to say, mm, you know, tonight was a off night, <laughs> you know? Um, and I kind of, I, I've always appreciated people that have been really honest and direct. They're yeah. the people that I have the most respect for because I really feel from those people that they want the best for me and, and you know, that kind of criticism is um, what makes you improve. So I guess from a compliment point of view, I was once told in, a, in the ballet week here in Munich, um, a critic from England 
compared me to Alicia Markova in Giselle. He said that he hadn't seen an entrance in the first act Giselle as special since Alicia Markova. And that just for me wow. was like, oh, wow. and that for me, I mean, you know, I didn't know this person and yeah. um, that was uh, really stayed with me. So I'm very proud of that one. Yeah, I'm <laughs> very <laughs> And like you said, you know that it's not something that they maybe want from you if it's this kind no. of thing. It's, mm. yeah. No, I really felt that it was uh, honestly meant. So yeah. I took it like that. Well, I also wanted to ask you because you're uh, obviously pregnant, which congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just fat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how many months are you now? Uh, five and a half. So I'm just, I mean I'm so excited for you and I think right now it's quite a big uh, time in your life you're mm -hmm. going to be having a new baby yes. as well as um, your husband Vincent just retired from the stage after yes. 18 years mm -hmm. and uh, had a wonderful career yeah so how does it feel to be sort of starting upon this new chapter in your life with a baby and, and your husband now going into a different part of his life um, I would like to say we're ready for it, but I don't know. <laughs> um, well, this is definitely a, a wish baby. Um, I, I think, uh, you know, ballet dancers, there's, there's never really the perfect time yeah. to have a yeah. baby. Um, you know, you, you, there's always this idea of, oh, I'll have a family and, um, yeah, I'll be able to, to combine both worlds. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I I think we we've waited long enough to to be in a position where you know we're hopefully be able to be good parents. And oh, you um, I know it for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, and also you know ballet dancers the the career is so short, and you always feel like um, there's another role coming, or there's another person that you want to work with, or you know you have all these ambitions and. And the idea of having a baby is sometimes a little bit overwhelming because it does mean that you putting that that what has been your life on the side for a while, and um, it's a big deal. It is a big deal because you you know you feel like not only the the clock is ticking biologically, but you feel like the career clock is ticking. And when is the right time to do that? I don't think there is one. I think it's individual for many people. Um, I always would have, I think ideally would have, I would have liked to have had a baby much, much earlier and then to, um, you know, go back and then really peak in my career. It didn't happen like that. Um, but yeah, can't complain. It's fine like this now yes. too. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> in what way do you think uh, being a professional dancer is going to help you in your next role as being a mother? Or maybe what qualities can you take now into? Um, hopefully patience. <laughs> that would be a good one. <laughs> I mean, my husband is a child. I keep uh, <laughs> being told by his mother or my mother-in-law that, uh, you know, good luck, dear. He was quite a terror. And I'm thinking, oh, lordy, lordy, what's coming at me now? Um, <laughs> so I guess patience would be well appreciated um i don't know i think i think um you know this world that we live in the ballet world that we live in it's it's so unique there's there's nothing else that compares to this what we live in and you know if i can um introduce what i what i learned and what i experienced in my life in my career to my child, um, I think my baby would be very wealthy. So, and do you think that you would want your child to dance? <sighs> I, I would, I would like to be able to to give my child the freedom to to decide for themselves. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it would be. I would never stand in the way if my baby turned around and said to me, you know, mum. I really want to dance. I would encourage that um, because I think it is the most 
wonderful life. I, I have had the most incredible opportunities doing what it is I love to do. I would never deprive my child of having that. But if, if ballet is something that, you know, that they screw their nose up at, then, well, then, so be it, you know. Yeah. Um, it's, it's uh, you know, in their hands yeah. to be and do what they feel is right for their lives. And uh, I also wanted to say, uh, lastly, I know that you have now a lot of, um, given a lot of your time to help coach some of the younger you know, dancers in the company, mm -hmm. and uh, you seem to enjoy it very much. I've also been very fortunate to be coaching with you. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, what is the most important thing that you want to impart to them and give them when you're, not only maybe through your teaching, but through your experience, and uh, in general, I guess, also to other aspiring artists, what mm -hmm. would you say would be the most important thing? I believe that what what it is that we do is very difficult. Um, we we search and hunger for perfection every day of of our dancing lives. It's something that doesn't exist. It simply just doesn't. You know, um, what for me is most important, or what I aspire to pass on to young people is um, to enjoy, to love what it is that they do, and have fun with what they do because everybody is different and you know whether you're standing in the back row of the quarter ballet or if you're standing in front you you are a part of something bigger than yourself each person has an important role to play and even though you may feel you know well you know I'm just doing that little thing in the corner it it makes a huge difference of how you approach it and when I work with people, I try very hard to bring out the special qualities that each person has and not generalize, well, you know, this is how ballet should be. I don't believe there is a way that ballet should be. If it were like that, then, you know, only a certain type of dancer would exist. And I believe that would be incredibly boring for, for audiences and, and for people working with dancers. Um, I love the idea of the person in front of me becoming confident in what they're doing and, and feel good about what they're doing. Because when you feel good about something, you look completely different. It looks completely different. If you go on stage with a, oh my god, oh my god, uh, yeah, it looks like that. And the audiences feel that. Yeah. And I, I, I always felt, you know, in the beginning of my career was very, um, for me was most important technique because I was, I'm a very technical dancer and if for me a pirouette didn't work in a performance, the performance was, you know, oh my god, what, what did I do, you know. Um, until you learn that that's only a fraction of what it is that you show on stage. Most people that sit in the audience, they haven't a clue. If you do double pirouette, if you do three pirouettes, four pirouettes, you know, it's... Um, it's, it's how you present it, it's what you present, it's what you're saying with what you're doing. And for me that's, um, that's what dance is. It's not a perfection, it's not a exact science, you know. Um, that's live art. Yeah. Otherwise we would just go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much Lisa for your, your time with us and uh, we appreciate it. My pleasure. As yeah. well as uh, all as will all the other uh, young artists. Mm -hmm. So uh, on behalf of Youth Arts in Action again, thank you so much for being a part also of our Inspiring Artists series. Thank you. And uh, I'm so happy for you and your baby. And thank it's you. very exciting. And I wish you both all the best. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>